Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I was taking photos today and then I figured since I have my makeup and my hair done and everything, then I might as well film a video. So today I'm going to be filming a video showing you my swimmer collection. If you haven't heard of swimmer, this might confuse you a bit. Um, swimmer is a Japanese brand that no longer exists, unfortunately, but they carried a lot of really cute lifestyle items, things like for your kitchen or your bath, and then they also had some fashion things. They were such a cute brand, and their stuff is just so iconically Harajuku, but unfortunately they closed down pretty recently because of financial issues. Um, it's really a shame because their stuff is also cute, and now you can only find it from resellers or secondhand, um, which is how I got most of my stuff but I thought I would show you my small collection. Swimmer's really known for their really beautiful clocks, which I really wanted to get, but I already have a clock that I like a lot, so it didn't make sense. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll start with the more fashion beauty type items, and then I'll move on to the several more lifestyle things that I have, and I hope you'll like seeing my small collection. Oh, before I get into this, I should mention where you can still buy swimmer things. I got a lot of this stuff from the reseller Lolita Des, which is a online shop that resells Lolita clothing, but they also have a lot of accessory type things and stuff from Swimmer. Um, I'll link them down below in case you're interested. You don't need a shopping service to buy from them or anything. They can just ship anywhere in the world and they're super convenient. And then the rest of the stuff I got secondhand throughout the years either through sites like Lace Market, or Depop, or Japanese secondhand sites, uh, but yeah, let's get started. So these first two things you might have seen if you watched my latest video, which was my wardrobe uh, tour. The first thing I have is this cute little bag. This is like a doctor type bag. It says swimmer, doctor bag, and then on the heart it said love sickness. It's just this really cute, really small white bag, but it's really adorable. I actually haven't used it yet. I really should because it's adorable. It's made of all the like pleather material and it's pretty spacious inside, surprisingly, and it also has a strap that you can use to make it a crossbody bag. Um, it's a really cute bag. I thought it would be bigger which I'm still a bit annoyed about, but it seems a good size. Next, I have my very precious biscuit bag. I really, really love this bag. I got it at a Lolita swap meet uh, several years ago, and it's still one of my favorite bags in my wardrobe. I think it's really unique and super adorable and super iconic, and I really like it. Next, I also have this fake fur collar. I bought this pretty recently because I think that fake fur collars are just really adorable. It's made of a like deer patterned fur and it has cute pom-poms that you tie up using these velvet ties and it also has these kind of olive colored pom-poms. At first I wasn't too happy about the color of them, but I think they add a nice detail that's pretty unique and you don't see many collars like this and I think it's super cute. You just put it on top of a dress or a shirt and it just adds an extra layer of cuteness to your outfit. Next, I have two cute little rings. This one is shaped like a strawberry, and it says sweet. It's just a super adorable ring. And then I also have this smaller one, which is a ivory-colored heart that says be mine. And now, beginning to move into more home and lifestyle things, I have this really pretty ring holder. I think this is so cute, and I've seen these on Tumblr all the time and stuff. It's just this plastic case. It has a plastic cover on the top, and you take it off. Inside there's a foam insert that you put your rings into, and I just think it's so cute. I really love the details of it. It's this really pretty mint color, and it has a pink bow on the top, and it also has little like swirlies on the sides to make it look more elegant and fancy, and I really like this. I display it on my shelf, and it looks super cute. Here's the first ever swimmer item I got. I got this in a sort of lucky pack type thing several years ago, and it's this cute little pouch. It has cookies and bunnies on it, and it has a very eastery feel to it. Uh, I just keep nail polish in here, but it's really cute. It's nice and useful, and it's lasted me all this time, and yeah. Here I have this cute little rosette. It has a pretty big strawberry on it, and gingham ribbon on the sides. This is my first ever rosette because I think they're super cute and I really liked this one. I don't know. I thought the design was adorable. I haven't actually used it yet. I just hang it on the side of my mirror, but it's just so cute. Next I have this little strawberry face towel that says sweet baby on it and it has strawberries and flowers on it. 
I just think it's really cute. I liked the pale yellow color of this, and it has a little rope on the side so you can hang it from places. I haven't actually used this yet, but it was really cute, and I need to think of a purpose for it, because it's adorable. Here I also have this super cute little pink thing. Whatever could it be? Why? It's a comb! So you can, like, brush your hair. Oh gosh, the wig is tangled. No! There we go. Uh, yeah, it has super adorable bunnies on it and an ice cream parfait and, surprise, surprise, on the back there's a mirror! Can you see yourself? Hi! Anyways, just a really cute, useful item to just throw into your purse for when you need mirrors and combs. Let's see if I can show you all of these at once. I have these tiny, oh gosh, that fell, heart containers. <laughs> um, here, let me show you just a few. They're these really cute heart-shaped containers. Um, they're super tiny. They're meant for putting like sauces in for bento boxes, um, but I use them to store beads and other jewelry making supplies. I just think they're so, so cute, and they're just really adorable and small and really useful. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to find a use for them, but luckily I was able to, because they're super cute. And then the last item of my collection is this little bento box. It's a just like little pink plastic bento box um, with a whitish lid that has a teddy bear on it and it has a gingham print and it says baby and it was so cute. There was a lot of different bento boxes available but in the end I chose this design and I just think it's so cute. I haven't used it yet because I thought I would store stuff in it but I haven't yet, and I don't know, maybe I will use it as a bento box? I'm not too sure, but anyways, it's really cute. And inside there are two little removable containers, so that it's useful when making your lunch. And yeah, I just think it's super cute, and it's really adorable. This reminds me a lot of Nile Perch, and so I like it a lot. That was my really small swimmer collection. Um, it's a, such a cute brand and it's just a really big shame that they closed because they have so many cute things and their designs were so adorable and unique and still useful. But what can you do, I guess? I'm just happy that their stuff is still available to find secondhand or from resellers online. So yeah, I hope you liked seeing my small collection. I hope to still get more swimmer items in the future because they're just a really adorable brand and I just love their whole concept and yeah, I like them a lot. I hope you liked seeing my small collection. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Bye!